Hello YouTubes! M8C baby, we're all set up. Let's do a fast walk around. We got like 45 minutes before the public starts flooding in this place. I'm gonna uh, give you guys a tour of the booth. We're gonna try and hit as many booths as we can. It's Saturday morning. Yeah, Saturday morning. Uh, we did Hell's Gate last night. Awesome, awesome haunt. Uh, let's walk around, see what we can see, and then maybe tomorrow we get some more footage, because hopefully today's gangbusters. I can see a crowd up in front of the door already, so let's show you guys around, man. Show you what we got. So I'm all set up. This is the back of the booth. We got a trailer back there that's sticking out about six inches. That's bending the block in up here. That won't move. So thank you to the asshole whose trailer this is, who's blocking my damn booth. All right, so we've got, of course we've got magnets. We always use the $10 magnets at shows, so you can come to a show and get a magnet for 10 bucks. We've got all the lots. We've got the new Krampus staff, which I didn't do a video on, but it's here. We've got the Headless Horsemen, Pumpkin Stacks, Resin Stuff, Masks, Zombie Babies. we got Rats. we got my Druid Skull, Snowman, Creepy Evil Lady Bitch. I don't even know who the hell, I can't remember how long I had her. Then we got the new mask, I guess the short of these, I'm not sure. We got the Clarence staff. I filled up the coffin shelf for some upright storage. We got trolls, we got Frankensteins, we got Nosferatu's, we got rats, we got Clarence faces. Who doesn't love a Clarence face? And of course we got necklaces for 20 bucks. I gotta put a price tag on that. We got our Scully Pops. And then we got, of course, the scarecrows flanking the booth. We got all the shrunken heads on the front table, little ground breaker. We got staves, we got snowman, we got scarecrow. We got baby scarecrows, shrunken heads, shrunken goblins. We brought the snowmans, turtles. We got gargoyles. We got a Halloween yard sale going on here. And we got Dracula. And of course, we got Our Lady of Perpetual Sorrow. All right, people, let's hit the damn uh, aisles and see what we can find in maybe 20 minutes or so. So here's my neighbor, Brian from Pumpkin Pulp. We're right over there, he's right across the aisle. He done brought the babies, he done brought all the clocks. And they're just pumpkinpulp.com. Look at the Frankenstein. Oh my God, he brought the Fiji mermaid. Come on, baby, swing, swing, swing. How cool is that? He's got Pirate Nosferatu. I think I have that one. I have the Krampus one. Of course, the Forevermore Dolls. He's got the whole load here. Little Santa on the bottom. And of course, Brian's doing the sex this year. The little monkey sack. Oh my God, how adorable is that? It's a monkey with a head. God, it's so cool. It's a monkey with a head. He's got a dead possum bag. Bunnies, masks, vintage masks. Just awesome killer stuff. There's Blizzard, there's the Trash Panda. He's got Clerns. There's Fun Guy. Bacon Bits. What's he out here hiding in the corner? He's got Noodlin. I got Noodlin thanks to my buddy uh, Frank and Pines. Looks like a cow back there with some guts on his ears or bits. I've never seen the Buddy Clown. He's got Barbecue. He's got Santa Hats. His brain's all set up. That's pretty cool, man. Go across the aisle, Studio 1031, get a full fledged grid suit for Christmas, 900 bucks. Studio 1031 concepts. And it's the black card getting blacked out. There we go. Clarn shoes. He's brought costumes. Alright. The murder mouse. I don't think you get the mask though. All right, we'll keep on wandering. Mini spotlights. Look what I found. Little mini Jacob letters for fifteen dollars. How awesome are those? You guys know I love my lab stuff, man. Jacob's letters and Frankenstein stuff. That is so freaking rad, man. Again, minispotlights.com. Super freaking cool stuff, man. Lab stuff galore. Oh, I love the little lighted balls. Please tell me those are for sale. All right, 
We're gonna blow some money today. We better do good today. All right, I know you guys are gonna go crazy. It's always distortions. What are distortions, man? He's got the alien. He got the big head alien with an eyeball in his hand. That boy got a big head. Basketball. Look at him. Freaking cool, man. He's got another alien. Alien autopsy on the floor. That's pretty cool. And don't ask because I don't know. Those guys are all sold, man. Alright, we got the pumpkin witch. Man, she's creepy as hell. She's got a little pumpkin. Which I believe has a light in it. Down to her gnarly, nasty corn chip toes she ain't washed in 10 years. We brought the big scarecrow. With a little crow on his shoulder. Even a little crow is freaking wicked cool. And of course, there's a scare wolf. He's huge, man. Look at that guy. He looks great. And he's got to be 6'2", uh, 6'3", six, six, something like that. Down to his corn chip toes. And then look over here. Oh, the dirty rat. The giant rat. That's my size 11 for size comparison. Look how big that boy is. And he shakes. He got his tail bent up. He's got some big boils on him. Freaking awesome, man. He's awesome. And that's a distortions booth. Everything is pre-sold, so go ahead and go online and put your orders in. All right, we're my buddy Rob's booth, Resurrect Costumes. And I Look at this. That's, oh, that's super soft. You would think that'd be rough. Don't worry, See, I'll HHA the member. He's got pants. He's got sweaters, he's got costumes, he's got Victorian, he's got gothic, he's got bondage, Rob's got it all. And he's got mummies. He's got, uh, what do you call it, uh, ringmaster coats, velvety jackets. He's got, uh, uh, what's that, paisley damask jackets, dresses, ravens on a shirt. Zombies on a shirt. I, I gotta get this one. That's freaking awesome. Oh, that feels freaking great, man. What a great freaking print, man. He's got skulls. He's got flowery, fluffy shirts. I think Rob has corsets, too, if I remember right. So if you're needing something, look up Resurrect Costumes. Look, he's got red dresses, green dresses, black dresses. That's really nice looking. He's got... Skelly shirts. What oh, a hand looks familiar. Looks familiar. And free buttons. And then some of his long. Is that actual safety pins? I'll be damned. That is actual safety pins. Alright. Biohazard sweatshirts. All at Resurrect Costumes. Look Rob up. ResurrectCostumes.com. Oh, Mr. Jimmy's in the house. Masks. Vests. Is that a snout? That is a freaking snout. God damn, Mr. Jimmy, that's funny as hell. Oh, he's got two aprons. He's got Gilberts. Oh, he's doing some cyberpunk stuff. He's got a busted jaw. A lot of latex masks. He does commissions, custom orders. Bar lab. Looks like he's got some costumes. Yeah, go find you Mr. Jimmy FX. What else do you bring? More mini Gilberts. He's got toes, hats. Dookie plungers, big Gilberts, little Gilberts. Is that a peepee? -pee? That's a peepee. -pee. Mr. Jimmy, Mr. Jimmy makes peepees. -pee. All right, folks, let's hit the road. And that was right around the point I said, fuck it. I'm gonna walk around with August. We're gonna spend some time together. Screw the video. There'll be enough video walkthroughs by other videographers and stuff. So this MHC was more about family, man. Um, so I didn't take much video. Got a couple of booths and then got distracted and it's like, you know what, we're just going to wander around and have some fun because as a vendor, you really don't get a chance to get out of your booth that much uh, to go see people and hang out and see what's out there and walk around the show and enjoy it. Uh, most of the weekends work. But uh, speaking of family, man, I want to give a special shout out to Nadine and Tony. But the second year in a row, they brought me a case of beer. How freaking awesome is that? Uh, guys, I just, like, I can't say enough about this show being family. And not only that, Tony, check out Tony, man. He made me Sickle Man. Check him out. Out of the stuff from his own backyard. So somebody actually made me something. How freaking cool is that? So we're going to find a little space to hang him from the ceiling for sure. Um, but yeah, this, this, this little stuff like this, man, that just 
that makes me happy, man. That's that's Haunt Fam right there, man. This cool little guy. Um, super cool. Uh, even though we did walk around and I didn't get much video footage, I did do a little bit of shopping, tried to grab what I could here and there. You know, you're running around all crazy trying to get back to your booth before the public walks in. You guys know how it goes. So what did I grab with a couple of videos or the couple of boots that I did hit in my video? Well, one of my neighbors right down the aisle was skeletons and more. Check out this. I got me a whole box of Coscuses. Coscuses. Crushages? Coscuses? Coscusai? Costco? Coscus. Cross. God damn it. Tail bones. Crotch bones. Got a whole bunch. What do I use these guys for? Kind of they're so small. Guys, I put these on my tiki torches, man. I got a whole big box from that guy. And I think there's some random parts in here, too. I think I saw like a vertebrae or something like that. But we got a whole freaking box of costuses. Crotch bones. Oh, you know what? There's some vertebrae in here. So check that out. But I already make them, so. But that was my big box that I got. I think the whole box is like 20 bucks or something like that. He totally cut me a deal. Just extras and bits and pieces from, um... His projects, it was on the clearance uh, little table, so I'm like, so I'll take the whole box. Let's take it all. And then some of my other stops. Okay. Now I can hear it now. You guys are just screaming at me, but cobwebs! You said no more black t shirts, no more shirts. And that's true, but it's not just t shirts in here. So this little guy I thought was super cool. I got this from Michael at Fright Night Studios. It's a little pumpkin, shrunken pumpkin. How freaking creepy and cool is that? I saw it on the table, I was running back to my booth, I was like, Michael, I gotta have a little pumpkin guy, man, he's freaking awesome. Just love his stuff, I have his shrunken head, because of course I collect shrunken heads, but uh, that was one of my little buys that was cool, I'll probably put that on a shelf somewhere in here. We're running out of wall space, man, like seriously. So, uh, another one of my stops, ooh, a Coscus is. Uh, another one of my stops, of course, as always, every year, every show, I go see my buddy at Rob at Resurrect Costumes. Not a t-shirt, it's a classy button-up. With zombies, I'm gonna start classing up the freaking joint. Check it out, little zombie guys, little faces. It's super silky and smells, feels really nice and soft. And it's a button up, how freaking cool is that, man? Uh, I love that. So I'm gonna try and get a couple more of those. Uh, what else I got in my little bag of tricks here? Oh, April wash my cape, okay. Uh, paperwork. Oh, that's my $600 hotel bill. You don't want to see that. Okay, so I did find this booth when I was walking around me in August. Um, I thought this was super cool. Um, I saw this lady. She was out of her booth. She wasn't in there at the time. So I left a little note. I took her painting down off the wall and I was like, Lady, I want to buy your painting. Please come find me. And here's a sticker for my booth. And this is the Asylum Countess. I will also link her below for you, her Etsy store. Um, so I left a little note saying, Hey, this is Cowboys. I want to buy your little painting. Uh, you need to come see me and get some money. So, when I saw this hanging on the wall, I said, oh snap, got me a bride, had to have that, and it says, Hand Painted With Love by Trina. So we definitely got to find us a spot for the bride on the wall. How freaking cool is that? When I saw that, I was like, oh, oh, it's mine, I got dibs, I got dibs. I took it off the wall and I put it on her seat with a little note to myself. And maybe we can make a creepy little frame for this guy, running out of freaking wall space, man. But I always try and support, man, like handmade, hand-painted artist, original stuff, you know. Uh, new vendor this year, I've never seen her before, but I was super thrilled to see this and own it. So that's awesome. So thank you, uh, Trina, I think is her name. Trini? Trina. Trini. So got us another Brad Frankenstein, and it's a one-off. And she has some really cool paintings. She had a really cool Nosferatu. Um, really awesome artist, man. I loved uh, the stuff that I saw of hers. It was really freaking cool, man. Last year's badge. All right. Go back to our little bag of tricks. Got me a cup from Hell's Gate. We did the Haunt Tour this year. Man, was that place freaking mind blowing. It was awesome, beautiful, uh, long queue line. The actors are freaking nuts. And of course, I had to get me a souvenir t-shirt because I went to the Haunt. I made it all the way through. Hell's Gate, baby. Lockport, Illinois. Zombie Army. And I've been waiting to go to this place for like, I mean like three years now, four years, something like this. It's been like number one on my hit list. Finally got to go this year. It did not disappoint, man. Got to go with family, Lanny and Beth, Chad Smith had done some masks, uh, Rue and Bug, and the whole family was there. It was freaking awesome to hang out with them in August and just stand in line and chill out and just walk around the haunt. That was freaking awesome. So, 
I kind of broke my rule a little bit. I had to get a shirt. But if you go to Hell's Gate, you can have a Hell's Gate shirt, man. You just can't not get one. And then uh, Savage went and seen uh, the distortions and Alan painting. Um, and so she didn't get a mask, but I threw out some Franken bucks. A little Frankenstein's on it. Woo! Make it rain up in here. Rain Frankenstein. So that was pretty cool. Savage got some bucks. Uh, something came in here. I don't know what came in here. I don't know. And then some girl stopped on my booth. And she gave me some free bookmarks that she made, which I thought was really cool. It's uh, Stay Spooky for Love, Mama Cleaver. I think she's like an Instagramist person or something like that, I don't know. So I got me some new bookmarkers, which is pretty cool, because you all know I'm a book whore. I, I hoard them. And of course, what is this? Oh, man. Okay, so whew, this is my Chicago Haunt Builder shirt. Had to get one, support my team, love the CHB. Um, they were doing a shirt this year. I think they did a shirt last year or two. So I had to swing by and get one of these for myself. So again, but it's not a Halloween shirt company shirt. So technically this does not count, right? Yep. And then I think my last thing was, oh yeah, here we go. No. Oh, come on now. Check it out. This is not mine. This is for Savage. So this technically does not count against the black shirt Halloween shirt company store rule because god clint man you just tempt me so every time i go past her he's like two booths down for me i'm walking past all the time like i gotta have that shirt i gotta have that shirt i said savage what size are you medium come pick out your shirts so that was for savage and we're just about done what the hell's this i'm not gonna talk about that shirt all right, folks, that was my MHC haul. Again, great show this year. This show is about family. Uh, good to see family and friends. That's really the most important part of MHC for me. That, because you get to see your peoples and mix and talk for a while and hang out in the booth. And as always, this is one of the main reasons I go for. It makes me feel like I'm working towards something that all the hard work of late nights and fight with materials to get stuff made and ready for the show and out the door and with me safe and there for people to buy or put up in their little collections or whatever you know this always means probably the most to me at every show because i think i bust my ass for this damn sign yeah it's a well 40 inch long piece of paper but this little thing matters to me i always take my sign to show hey i was there it was an accomplishment it was a notch in my belt let's do it again next year so as always i will be there again next year uh, come see me, come hang out, swing by, BS for a while, uh, walk around. And also, man, special thanks to Tommy Abaticola. Man, he bought me a beer. Uh, that was awesome. It's kind of hard to get out of the freaking booth. Again, Tony and Nadine, awesome folks. All the people who swung by to see me and stopped or bought stuff from me the prior years and come to see what I had this year and hang out and chill. And uh, little Lewis, he comes by every... The last three years I've been in MHC, he's come by every year, come to my booth. So I hook him up with some stuff. Um, it's just such a great family show. That show... MHC is just good for your soul, man. So that's my haul and my sort of kind of walkthrough, half-assed. But uh, I appreciate you guys for watching and just putting up with me. And uh, as always, I will see you guys next time. Until I do, keep it evil always. Yeah. I'm going to this bad boy to church. <laughs>